a 75-year-old male patient was referred with progressive dysphagia. Here, in the mid part of the esophagus, we see this malignant stenosis. Passage with an ultra-slim endoscope is possible without applying major pressure. However, as you can see here, the tip of the endoscope perforated into the mediastinum. After slight withdrawal of the endoscope, the real esophageal lumen is intubated without further problems. However, in this situation, it is advisable to switch from room air to CO2 insufflation in order to prevent complications from mediastinal emphysema. To seal the esophageal perforation site, we perform immediate self-expandable metal stent placement. First, a stiff wire is advanced into the stomach. Then, a partially covered metal stent is advanced over the wire. Direct visual control with an ultraslim endoscope which is introduced simultaneously via the nasal route, allows easy stent deployment without any need for fluoroscopy. The yellow marking on the stent deployment system represents the proximal end of the stent. It is therefore crucial to keep this marking always at a minimum of 3 cm proximal to the upper end of the tumour during the deployment manoeuvre. Usually with an ultra-slim endoscope, it is possible to pass through the just-inserted stent without the danger of stent dislocation.